I started working on this old fan uh, a couple weeks ago, maybe three even, I don't know. And I did a video on it where I disassembled it and, and then I realized I needed to order some parts and the switch was broken. So I ordered them, but uh, it took quite a while to get it in. Someone helped me in the comments to find a right switch. So today we're going to see if I can actually fix this old fan. I don't know if it'll work or not. I invested in the parts and let's put that thing back together and see what we end up with. Join me as I share stories of my life as a kid bringing junk home and turning it into something useful. Well the first thing I'm going to do is try to hook this switch up to the right wires and I learned a long time ago not to depend on my memory so I have it on my phone here I took a picture of the old one before I took it apart to show me uh, to remind me how this went and it says the red wire goes on number three let's see that's number three the switch isn't orientate, orientated the same way as this one but we'll do it that way see what happens the red goes on number three and that just the way that works is the wire just pushes in right there and I didn't cut anything so I should be able to just push that back in there on number three. Boy I wish I had my glasses on. I can't even hardly see that. Let's see if I can get it in. It went in. Okay it shows that the blue wire the black wire is on the L and the L is right here on this. So let's find that black wire. That's this one right here. I don't know if this will work, but we'll try it. I don't even know why I'm putting this old fan back together. It's not really worth it. That isn't going in there, so I'm going to have to get something to help push that in. But let's see if I can get another one in. The white wire is on two. That's three. This is two right here. Right there. Let's see if I can push that one in. Oh yeah, that one's going in. Barely. It went in. It's in, I think. Okay. The red wire, uh-oh, the red wire's on three, I did that one. The blue wire is on number one, that's this right here. Let's do that. Let's see if I can get that one in. Okay, that one in. The only one I don't have in yet is the black. And we're going to try it one more time. Hey, it started. It went in. Hey, okay. That switch is wired. And this green wire went up right here. I don't know if you can see that or not. Right there. Since I got you down so low, we're going to move you up just a hair now since I got that switch in. Let's go right here. Oh boy, I'm going to get a cord and plug this in and just see if it works. We may have a running fan here, I do not know. Uh-oh, look at that, it is running. So let's see where we got the switch. Hope I don't get shocked here, daggone it. I'm always doing something I shouldn't. Let me put this... I don't know how the switch goes on. Maybe like that, nope. Maybe like, there we go. There's off, on. On more. Boy, that thing's oiled. Turn it back off. 
and let's see. That's without it turning. Okay, I think we have a working fan here. So the only other thing I need to do is clean these blades up. I'll take that over to my sink and clean this all up. And we'll see if I can remember how to put this silly thing back together. I don't know. But I'm going to unplug it. We got it unplugged. Now, I'm going to go clean this, and when I start to put this back together, I'll bring it back in so you can see what I'm doing. I think I need to see if I can't get a little oil in right here. Oh, I don't know, for pity's sakes. There's, I could put a little oil there and maybe there. Blow this out. I don't know. We'll see. Let me get this cleaned up and oiled and I'll get back with you. I have all the parts cleaned up. Now I'm ready to assemble. First thing I'm going to do is slide this switch in here. And I tested it and I found that, the, uh, that this was a little bigger than the hole. So I took the file and I found filed ever so carefully a little bit off of this side right here so that it will slip up in there easier. Let's see if it'll go. This piece here went over this and my common sense tells me that that's there to protect the wiring from the steel components on top or maybe even heat, I don't know. I really don't. It doesn't matter, I'm putting it back there. Yep, that slips right up in there. Now I wonder if I can get the little nuts started since I messed with them threads by filing on that. Let's see. My fingers are a little bit big for this kind of work. And I have to get it started perfectly straight. Let's make sure that I have that nut. There's a top and a bottom to that nut, I see. So we're going to put the flat side down so it comes. Hey, look at that. That turned right on there. I am surprised. Now let's make sure that we got it in there the right way and that it doesn't have to be a hundred and at whatever degrees off. I hope it goes on. That goes there. It's pointed to the off right there. Let me plug this in again. It's off. Well, it doesn't line up with those, but it, it works the way it's supposed to, so we're going to call that good. I need to tighten that up, and I need to put this ground screw right here where it was before. But, like normal, I see I don't have a Phillips screwdriver here, so I'm going to go over and get one. What I'm doing is just reattaching this green wire to a screw that was, oh boy, oh boy, I say oh boy. Hope my friend appreciates what I'm doing for him. Speaking about friends, I put a little short clip on my channel showing my fishing stuff and it, uh, I mentioned my friend, a friend, a different friend of mine and how I haven't been fishing for years and 
Well, now this year I'm thinking about it again. And I really got a lot of comments on that. A lot of encouraging comments. I appreciate that, guys. If you want to see that little clip, you can find it in my shorts on, on my YouTube channel. If I think about it, I'll try to put a link or reference it in this video. But, uh, you know, when you get comments like that when you're working on something, it sure makes a difference, doesn't it? It did for me. I wonder how this goes on now. I know that probably right here, no, okay, I see. It goes like that. Let's hold it down. And there's four little screws there. What did I do with those? Hey, I got some screws right in here. I wonder if those are it. There, there, there's four little screws, but what was this one for? I don't remember. This has a screw on it. Boy, that had to go somewhere. I see where it went. It went in the back. I better take this apart again and just see how that attaches back there. Because I'm glad I checked that. I got that like that. That's not coming out very easy, is it? Is it down all the way? Yep. Take it there. There it's coming. Let's get that out of there. Yep. Definitely is. There's a little hole right here that it, that screw attaches into. Just have to make sure that all my wiring's out of the way. I'll tell you what. I am so doggone forgetful anymore. Let's see if I can get this back the way it, where I had it. Hey, I have it there. Let's see if I can find that slot. Now, I think what I'm going to have to do is get me a punch and see if I can get that lined up or what's holding it from lining up. Hey, I have a light here. Maybe I could see that. I think I have it. I do. There she goes. We'll just snug that right up as far as it'll go, I think. Let's Oh. I didn't realize I still had it plugged in. Let's see if the thing's going to operate in case I got a wire pinched or something. I don't want to go all the way with it. Oh, boy. Let's see here. Uh-oh. It's not running. Do I got this too tight? There it goes shut it. It's running. Now let me just snug this up. Oh, yeah, I see. That must do more than I thought. Okay, we'll leave it at that and keep it in mind that we may have to do something there yet. So the next thing I want to do is put this on the face. And that goes like that. That might be the issue right there because this pulls the front part of the motor this direction. Yeah, that's what it is. We'll get those started. Oh, maybe we will. Maybe we won't. There we go. I see how that works. This and these have to be at precisely this 
the correct location. One pulls from the back and the other pulls from the front. I see how it works now. I don't know why though. I, but I don't need to know as long as the fan works. And we're going to try it here again. So I get these four screws tightened up. I'm going to do one more little thing. I'm going to put just a little drop of, of oil right there. Not much. Let me get it. Someone gave me this years ago. I don't know what it is, but it sure come in handy. It sure has come in handy. That's one drop. There's a drop. Okay, two drops. There's two drops. No more than two. Okay, the next step is to put the back of the fan on. And it's got a handle here. So I'm going to assume, I see how that is, those three go like that and turn pretty slick. That one screw is the positioning screw and you got to take one out to get the rest of them where you need it. So that goes there and then when those are all in this screw here holds that in place more or less. If I was getting paid to do this, this would cost way more to do to repair than what you could buy a new one. Yeah, it's a good thing I don't mind fixing stuff for free once in a while. Okay, before I forget, I want to tighten this nut up. I haven't tightened that up yet. And you were thinking about that, I know. So I got me a needle nose here, and all I was going to do is Turn out a little tighter. That's about as tight as I want to make it. So that means this can actually go on to stay now. And we'll go ahead and put this on. I wonder if there's a position. Yeah, right there is where that screw slips down into. I think. Yep. Wonder if I can get this screwdriver in there to tighten that up. Now let's. Oh boy, still have that stupid thing plugged in. Let's see if that blows air. I know why they like that fan. That little rascal puts a lot of air out. That's a nice fan. Let's finish it up. The last step is to position this back where it was. And I, there's a little, here. See this little clip right here? It's kind of horseshoe shaped. Fits right over a little ridge right there. There we go. And then these clips just clip down. <laughs> That's nice. Let's try it again. Can you see it? See that adjusts up and down like this. That's actually low, I think. There's medium. And there's high. 
I fixed the cheap Amazon fan, but uh, all kidding aside, this fan works pretty darn good. I can understand why the owner was disappointed and um, when it quit working, when the switch broke, would it be worth fixing? Maybe if you did it yourself and you bought the parts as cheaply as I did, I think that switch cost six bucks, but it took a long time to get here. Uh, I think it was a company in China where it came from through Amazon, I believe. Amazon fan, Amazon switch, but this fan works pretty good. Look at that, that's low. It's quiet and it moves quite a bit of air. I'm going to call this project complete. You see the fan there behind me, it works perfectly. I can't say anything negative about it. I would buy a fan like that if I needed one, which I don't. But we're going to say this is complete project. If you have any comments on what you've seen me do, I appreciate the uh, input. Tell me how you would do it. And if you see something that I may have missed or didn't do correctly, let me know in the comments below. If you like what I bring to you, Appreciate if you hit the subscribe button. Greatly appreciated that. Thank you for watching this far. Can it be fixed? Yes, it can. Can you fix it? You're darn right you can. Until the next one.